be assault marine Sadukus. Brother Furantus has managed to get us close to the enemy titan. Operation White Elephant is a go. A Shuald squads jump up onto leg as stealthily as possible. We are prepared to take as many gifts as possible. But, staying true we shall not leave our gift givers empty hands. We shall be leaving them exactly the gifts these heretics deserve. Melter bombs. Be future commissar. This time we end up shooting Dark Elder because they probably wanted to get in on the action. During the battle we are finally able to get into contact with the bishop though he doesn't hang out for long since he wants to seal his marriage for the emperor. Normally I would complain about him having sex in the middle of a war zone but having cooperation with zealous peasant forces being equipped by blood ravens is better than nothing. Give new instructions that the entire city is to be cleared out and defense is prepped to fight the incoming waves. On the way out of the cathedral notice that a fucking titan legion is engaging the chaos titan at melee combat because why not? Well with the titan problem taken care of for no we still need to get this city cleared of orcs and Herectus. Especially the weird ones who are dressed in suits and ties. Don't ask dot scholar. Suddenly some large ass space marines with some skull masks drop out of the sky and start shouting and shooting everything accompanied by drop pods. With that two birds were killed with one stone with the marines being able to clear out the city and said marines also containing imperial fists. Best part is I got to watch all of this from my bane blade while shooting down just about anything that the emperor despises. I love this job. Be fresh Kariti. We feel the parasites upon us. They and their putrid feats. You don't just hop on for a ride without some dinner first fucking mortal dodgif. They seek to hurt us. We sense them. We feel them. We know them. We hate them. They attach bombs to our hide. Foolish mortals.png. Our blood beats with the rage of dying stars. They want to steal from us? We'll give them something worthy stealing. Tendrils move, seeking out marines. I hope they've seen enough hollow vids to know where this is going. JPEG. Heard there was a wedding going on in this target city. Probably some foolish mortal consummating their union. Pull bound marines and tight against my burning, boiling, metal plating. Tighter, tighter. Those mortals won't be the only ones consummating their union. We are many, and the more the merrier. Be assault marine Sadukus. Sergeant, this demonic engine seems to have some sort of inbuilt demonic defenses. No shit Sherlock.jpg. We can fight them off with our chain swords, but it will significantly slow down this mission. That is time this city may not have. Spot Imperial Titan making approach. Thank the Emperor.prayer. Hopefully they may be able to busy this Titan long enough for us to finish our work. Be Princeps Nikolaevna. Be driving my warhound. Says isn't everything. Vox. Oh fuck that moron Manaheim is just doing that thing again. Thank the Emperor that the Space Marines are doing a drop on these traitor titans. Ah uh, but this doesn't look to be going too well. At least Manaheim looks to be able to recover some. Time for me to bail out his dumbass again. Titan flanking time. Manaheim is still pushing forwards, so I get the Warhounds and Scouts to finish our movement behind this Chaos Titans. Proceed to start firing on their rear armor. Insert butt rate joke here, lol. Legio Nivellis Forever Mythificus. Be we, Frashikariti. It's adorable. The little marines, they are trying to resist. Afraid we can't allow that. Tendrils spawn from defunct cabling, rotting at you, and steel wiring, continues to flood towards them. Chainswords can only be so many places at once. Other titans are still coming, but my gore shower cannon is still running. I can afford this little pleasure. Come here little mortals. Time to take your temperature. Be assault marine Sadukus. Managed to plant half of the bombs. But the tendrils have brought us down to half strength. Mena have fallen, but we cannot give up. Enemy titan is ignoring the imperial titan coming towards it and is turning its blood shower cannon towards us. Oh fuck dot jpg. Abort abort. Some of this bombs were redundant anyways. Most of my marines jump off in time but some still get caught in the blast. Fire death shall not be in vain. Detonate melter bombs before it can wash them off. Cool guys don't look at explosions dodgif. Leg is damaged but still standing. Damn it. Looks like it's up to the titan to finish the job. Be canonous. Everything is on fire. That's okay though. Hardly the first time. Bane blade is wedged into the cathedral, blocking the main entrance. Mantle sisters are clipping any orcs that try to come around the sides. Black sepulchre repentias have climbed on top of the tank, chain spearing the ones that try to climb over. 
Hope the tank crew doesn't get distracted looking up their dresses. Guardsmen can be like that. The entranceway collapsed but the walls of the cathedral are built to sororitas standards. They're holding. Not sure what happened to St. Bridget but we don't need her with this defensive position. We'll hold out until. Wait. Where is the fucking bishop? Olga had one fucking job. Climb on top of the tank myself. Keep behind the turret and empty my storm bolter into the crowd of orcs and heretic infantry fighting us and each other. Can see the upper portion of the chaos titan several streets over. Purple stars scouts report the orc gargant entering the city on the either side. Imperial warhounds are engaging both. My face when. Hop down and start running. Throw little sister Lydia over my shoulder. New parking the tuned up repressor deeper in the church would come in handy. Emperor willing we can repeat that business with the necrons. Put her in the driver's seat. Drive bitch. Deja vu dot m page 3. Don't stop the music dot m page 3. Gas 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 dot m page 3. Be known Queen Becky. Operation sisters for lunch is a go. I'm really fucking ready for this one. It's just not Morlocks and Ravners anymore. I've got some huge burrowing bio titans ready to roll. So adorable. They are en route when suddenly they go off target. Oh come on. There are some massive vibrations or something. My burrowing bio titans burst out of the ground near where some massive mechanical machines. Some of them are apparently covered in blood or something. My bio titans start grabbing onto these and licking off the boiling blood. They seem to like the spiciness. It's sort of cute but wasn't really my plan. Okay back to the drawing board. Bwe. Flash Karite. Feel the burn. Old war wound is acting up. Jif. Wait no those are the melters. Blasted mortals. Release booming roar of frustration. See their forms fleeing the battle. We shall claim their souls in time. Yet, as our void shields continue to buzz, our attention returns to the titans around us. Snarling of guns begin to sound out. Sounds of tearing metal. They wish to come into close combat. So be it. PNG. Pull tendrils back, releasing corpses of now dead blood ravens. They connect, join, amalgamate. Armored form is shifting. Cries of neverborn screaming. So joyous. Arms begin sprouting. So many. Fusion of flesh, demonic energy, and metal. Colossal tentacles of bloodshed. Hold your overcompensation jokes. JPEG. Let the titans come. Our knee aches. But the heat is our ally, and the damage will mend. Only the frost giants may dare to challenge us. Charge the shields. Let our lesser kin handle the whimpering warhounds. Fire the Gorshaw cannon. Fire the secondary skull blasters. Fire everything. Dance the dance of death with us giant of ice. Jif. Be me, governor's war of a daughter. Babe holds his grand speech. The righteous warriors of faith are driven into a frenzy and their war crease overturns even the one of the orcs for a moment. Babe wants to get trough with the full process. Babed Laskun is not the only thing in he fear Jif. But in the middle of the battle? To be fair I have done in worse moments in worse locations with worse guys before. Fuck, maybe beneath the buffet table or in one of the tanks there is a nice place for us. Where to go dot question. Be Primaris Inceptor, Sergeant Jaren Notorious, Ultramarines Chapter. Be free falling through the atmosphere of some backwater shithole, alongside three other squads of Inceptors, at a rate of several dozen meters per second. Hot as a multi PNG. I'm informed by the company captain that a group of Chaos Titans are leveling a city and that the oh so wonderful gift givers are attempting to assist with taking them down. Apparently they're getting their asses handed to them. Sucks to be them. Codex. I'm sadly informed that, due to a variety of reason, we're being diverted to deal with the issue and assist our gene cousins. What the fuck is this heresy? Dot codex. No better than to speak up, so I acknowledge the order and inform the other squads. Enough groans to wake the living dead, but I tell them to be quiet. Who knows? Maybe if we save the magpies, they'll owe us enough to give us back some of our relics. As fucking gif. Robout. At this point, the 12 of us are glowing red hot, as we streak across the sky, like 1.5 ton meteorites. As the heat slowly begins to dissipate from re-entry, I take the chance to lift my blast visor. That's a lot of titans. Hollow. Huh? Those bloody magpies actually managed to take one out. One down. Four to go, it would seem. Organize my fellow inceptors to target the nearest titan, and blow right through it. Let gravity and our armor do the real work. Anti-aircraft fire from both sides, begin firing at us. Apparently thinking we're fucking missiles or something. We're on the same side you fucking idiots.jpg. 
before some Chaos Warlord Titan can even tell what's going. Twelver starts begin firing hundreds of rounds of boiling hot plasma with our plasma exterminators, before ramming directly into it its half melted hull. Look on the driver's face must have been priceless, as twelve, one and a half ton of starts begin ripping and tearing through millennium old armor and cabling. My face when we killed a titan by plowing into it, like a fat chick through glass. Be sister Lydia, be small, yeah, I get it, least I'm not a fat ass, be picked up by the cannoners. Have horrible scholar flashbacks. Be taken to repressor. Sister Hannah is already inside. Bitch were you just hiding in here? Her face when I accuse her dot vox. A lot of sisters pile into the back of the repressor. Charlotte and Teresa are somehow alive. As is some other sisters like Diana. Please don't let Olga be alive. Olga is alive. Though missing her pants it looks like. Fuck I don't know how fast the repressor will go with her inside. Can we like throw like 5 sisters out to get the weight normal again please? Oh well, too late. Gun it as hard as I can, which makes it sort of difficult for all the sisters who are trying to get changed into their armor in the back. Oh well, deal with it bitches. Smash out through wall. Drive through an alleyway. No place for the orcs, grots and heretics to run now. Hannah makes sure to aim for their legs which makes it easier to run them over as they lay screaming on the ground. Pretty awesome. Scream out into the city. No idea where we're going but I'll just drive wherever crazy eyes screams at me to go. Be me. Enkhironic agony. Warlord Titan. Empowered by the ruinous four. Feel heat on my hull. Turn attention towards incoming marines. Are they coming to board? PNG. Plasma aches me. Little cunts. They want a dynamic entry. Alright. Cockpit peels open. Surprise. It's a mouth. Welcome the incoming loyalists. Clamp mouth shut. Hope they enjoy the immaterium digestion coming their way. Tasted kind of nice. Get back to work. Be Princeps Manoheim. What the fuck is even going on anymore? Are those chaos demons or fucking tyrannids? Whatever they are. Looks like they're trying to have sex with the chaos titans. Must purge this from my mind. At least we're not getting shot. This is probably our best chance. Press in again. Enjoy feeling the heat on my skin. The titan's skin again. If this titan had a cock it would be massively erect. Attack one of the chaos titans with my fucking huge rad chain blade. Actually end up doing more damage to the tyrannid thing that's licking it. Whatever. Fine by me. Maybe these things have acid blood. Be me. You me Makumitan. Is Avian a good tool? This is great. The sneaky boomer is a great track. Car boom dodgif. This air is orky. See you me track. Shoot in the boys. Squish in them under the truck. Dat right funny dat is. But Yumi need to learn. Orcs is the winners. Fire looted shadow shall pale at sister repressor. Yumi's already smashed cover. Trying to crump the boys. No place to hide. Sneaky boomer gonna crump ya. Be we. Crash Kariti. Be in the middle of a glorious death match. Or at least we would be if this blasted Zeno would get off of us. Scream at the Zeno. Shout at the Zeno. Beg the Zeno. We just want our deathmatch. Ice Titan vs Fire God. Is that too much to ask? Be Inceptor. Sergeant Jara Notorious. Ultramarine Successor Chapter. Fucking Titan just swallowed us whole at the last minute. No problem. We'll just have to become the holy laxative of the Emperor's Divine Bowel Movement. Does that count as heresy? Not sure. I'll just have to ask the older brothers when we get back. As the titan's mouth closes, we all supercharge our plasma exterminators, and open fire, allowing us to plow our way down its throat, and through its stomach. Why the fuck does this this have a stomach.codex? Watch in utter astonishment, as we rip and tear our way through the warlord titan, melting and shooting our way out, until we soon enough come out this titan's equivalent of a newly minted puckered asshole. B Marcus. Watch as the entire Dinfees just devolves into a bloody clusterfuck due to decorous charge. Kinda nostalgic. At least we seem to be sorta winning this clusterfuck. Been firing this plasma gun so long it's overheated. Thanks the Emperor for carapace armor. Look begins me on roof when speakers start speaking. Notice one of the bloody edgy elder fucks is up there. He's aiming down where decorous is. Shit. Shit. He's gonna finish him off. Can't fire my fun cause it's overheated. Can't reach a frag that far. Maybe I don't need to. Pull a page from Lloyd's book. Grab a flashbang. And chuck it as high up as I can. Hope my throwing arm's still as good as it used to be. Be me. Called a Drago. Supreme Grandmaster of the Grey Knights. Champion of a thousand battles. Slayer of uncountable demons. 
Walker of the Immaterium. Feel a rumbling in my immaterial domain. Look into the sky. Does this place even have a sky.png? See a very puckered looking eyeball pop. Spit out some marines. Social contact.m page 3. Rush over to greet them. Maybe I can finally have some company. I really hope this isn't the warp dust hitting me. Be sister Lydia. Nearly get fucking obliterated by a massive shell out of somewhere. Who the fuck? Look and see an imperial. No wait. Orc tank is trying to take out our oppressor. If I get ambushed and blown up by an orc, Connie is going to fucking kill me. But the orc tank is in the middle of the only road out of this fucking death trap. Slam on the brakes to turn around. Only fucking one way out of this. Speed up towards orc tank. As we close in it gets harder for the orcs to shoot. They are already pretty shit at accuracy. Swerve left and right to avoid getting that main cannon pointed at us. Drive right at the front of the tank. They have some dozer blades on front. Gun it. Drive on top and over orc tanks. Satisfying screaming noise as any orc sticking out of the hatches get sliced in half or crushed. Keep going. Drive on top of tank. Pause at the top as we lose steam. Then gun it and drive down the back of the tank. Holy shit that actually worked. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Just fucking gun it out of the central square to the battle lines. B Sergeant Thorn. My squad and the rest of the Imperial Fist forces land in the middle of the city. Everything is a nothing but an orgy of violence. On top of the orcs, sisters, zealots, guard, heretics, and nids, some dark elder raiders decided to join in on the fun. Squad may just causally states this will be a proper battle when the necrons and elder arrive. As if by some curse from the ruinous powers necrons suddenly pop out of nowhere and I even see some harlequins in the distance. Fuck dot dawn. It only get worse when I look at in the distance where I witness a group of interceptors crash headfirst into an enemy titan while another titan is getting fucking licked by some large ass nid while an allied one is trying to engage it in melee. Then I see two versions of the same commissar leading the guard on a bane blade blasting some sort of music which I believe came from some band called Sabaton while telling the men to keep fighting. What the fuck is going on dot gene seed? Be Yumi Makumitan. Is left the sneaky boomer. Yumi tried to it away. Cleaver Yumi. But his commando. Is cleverer. Be gripping bottom of repressor. Be holding me big bomb squick. Pet me girl. Where's gonna finish this? Kaboom.jpg. Is Nava fail me my son. Be Inceptor Sergeant Jaron Notorious. Ultramarine successor chapter. Fucking hell. It's no wonder our chapter despises chaos so much. This is bullshit. My face when instead of hitting the ground on the shithole of a planet, we've instead opened up a gaping new asshole, leading into the immaterium. Pretty sure that's titan shit coming out of the hole. That's still not even the craziest part. My face when we land in almost thanks Damian perfect unism, next to what has to be, called a Draco. Ask him if he knows any way back to the shitty former ice world we were once on. Please emperor don't let him scream about hams.hollow. Be me. Drago. B3 Dragos actually. But each of them is hiding inside another Drago. Be still very lonely. But hey we Dragos have company. They immediately ask about how to leave. Not like I want you here or anything senpai.gif. Think for a minute. Think for another minute. Think for as many minutes as I reasonably can. But this is the Immaterium. And reason takes a day off here. Look up. Feel like a thousand years have passed. Check HUD. It's actually two seconds ago. Wibbly wobbly Timmy Wimmy. Yes, I know a way back. Tell them to follow me. At least we can hang out for a bit. Be Fessus. Be fighting in what is once again a complete and utter clusterfuck of a hellhole with everything and everyone, and having no idea what is going on. Why even bother leaving the guard? At least Decorus is stable. He got evaced via Livingston. Once we told her what had happened she just scooped him up and said she was going to get help before flying away. She seemed a little ditzy and naive to be a bolter bitch to be honest, especially on of those ermine mantle bitches. The thought occurs to me that she might be their decorous. Ha. Huh. Be Sergeant Jaron Notorious. Due to the fact that literal shit is continuously falling down from the sky where that puckered asshole is, my men and I are forced to use our jetpacks to carry Drago in the direction of the nearest way out. Feels like we've been walking and flying for about an hour now. How the fuck does he do this shit dot fuck the codex? He constantly asks each other strange questions, or tells shitty jokes. Have you ever defeated a waffle with arms for legs? What's the square root of ham sandwiches? And, this one is my favorite. How many despoilers does it take to ruin Cardia's day? Be salamander's kind. 
as we attempt to answer him, until he finally leads us to the exit. Alright. Let's do this. Robot. Ask him if he wants to come and slay demons with us in the real world. Be Calder. Be leading these marines. They've been nice enough. Point them onwards towards portal. They ask if I want to come with. I shake head. No. I'm sure we will meet again. Wave goodbye. Need to hold back a smile. That temporal loop is going to send them back 10 seconds. Right before they leave. No memory. Do it again. And again. And again. Can finally have some company for a while. Is that so wrong? Be canonous. Knew some of those repressor modifications would come in handy. Lower the suspension. Remove the dozer blade. Shave off all the excess weight except for Olga. Had a Promethean turbine from an Avenger converted and dropped in. Tech heresy. What's that? Plowing through orcs and heretics. Firing storm bolter from the open hatch. Wind blowing my hair. Scarf flowing in the wind. Got to admit, I missed this. Happiness is a warm gun. MP3. Yell for sister Lydia. Point down the streets to the rising smoke from where the orc gargant is pushing through the guard. Point at the nearby chaos titan beating down a high elephant. Better they fight each other than ours. Tell her to get it to chase us. Be me. Jara Notorious. Inceptor Marine. Finally make it to the portal hour and ask if Drago wishes to come with us. No, I'm sure we will meet again. Called a Drago. Doesn't wish to come with us? Ha. Ah. That's bullshit man. You've got to come with us. The Grey Knights will totally owe us for bringing you with us. Forcefully drag him along with us. 12v1. He totally goes in. My face when he pops back out where he was. 10 seconds beforehand. Sure we will meet again. WTF. Did we just clone called a Drago? Look back at my brothers. All of us are confused as fuck. He asks if we're alright. Damon and Pravius push him back in. My face when he pops right back into place again. Again. Codex does not support this dot robot. We keep pushing him in. It always ends up the same way. My face when we realized the bastard had tried to trick us. He asked if something is wrong. We tell him that we don't actually want to use the portal. Tell him it probably leads to Slanesh's hand holding room. My face when this man is truly insane. Be Drago. Be now 10 Dragus. It seems Myru's cruise has been discovered. They don't want to use the portal. Good that means they can STPNG. My face when. Be sister Lydia. Be glad I am small so I balance out Olga's thick. Connie is shouting at me. Ha 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 this sounds crazy. Okay let's do it sure. Chaos Titans and Tyranids are fighting each other. Time to get the orcs in on this. Drive right towards the orc lines then execute Chagoris drift time when we get close. Get the Lord Halos blaring as loud as possible. They notice. Suddenly Gargants are chasing us. And stomp us. And all other sorts of stompy orc things. Get other sister armored vehicles to pull in. Repressors and immolators everywhere. Veer off and the orcs keep going. Right into the chaos forces. Haha <laughs> didn't think this would work. Suddenly everything starts shaking. The fuck. Have a very bad feeling. Like there is something very powerful out there and it hates me specifically. Suddenly the earth erupts behind us and our armored column is being chased by a ton of huge tyrannid creatures. See sister Judith repressor get grabbed by one which rips the top off and starts stuffing sisters down its throat. God it's horrifying. It's like watching Olga get her hands on a box of donuts. I always told Judith she needed to figure out how gears worked on these things. Dumb bitch. Okay that's kind of mean. She's probably not even done being digested yet. I'll give it a day. Set this repressor to go as fast as possible. Fuck why are they still chasing us? Fuck I hate tyrannids. Where the fuck did my life go wrong? Be me. Sergeant Jaron Notorious. Inceptor. Fucking Drago is insane. Fucker has been following us for an hour and a half. After we told him we'd find another way out, he keeps spouting on, and on, about wanting to kill sheep and protestants, and reconquer Jerusalem. The fuck's a protestant? Dot holy. Eventually, after what feels like half a century, we find some fucking demon about to go through some sort of portal. Realize that the portal seems to go back to our shit hour of battle. Look at my brothers, and then back to Drago, before looking once again back at the portal. On Mike, my brothers pick up Drago, and we charge the demon with full thrust from our packs. What a fist is heresy dart emperor. It feels like all of us are squished together and form a new person. See what looks like some feral worlders. 
the fuck's that? Looks like the Emperor. Finally unfuse, and pop back into reality, as we tear through some Chaos Champion's chest. My face when we're surrounded by called a Drago, two squads of Chaos Marines, and a bunch of angry peasants led by the Bishop. B Commissar Original Edition. The whole situation just somehow keeps degrading downhill. The city turned into what the planet was like a couple months ago with about any faction you can think of fighting in the streets. Even the averses we were looking for have suddenly come back just to satisfy their murder fetish. Too bad they aren't attempting to climb the giant orc war machine fucking everybody over. By this point we are all desperate to get rid of it since the loyal titan legions are too busy trying to melee the chaos and mid ones and the navy is too busy fighting whatever shit just popped up in. The void. Only real solution we have is to find some way of collapsing parts of the city on forcing the damn thing to get stuck underground. Problem is though the area to the underground is flooded with necrons and some nids fighting each other and the banner blade is too big to fit. Fuck dot heresy. Suddenly notice some repressor in the distance. Also notice that it belongs to the crazy bitches and it's going at unusually high speeds. Future self then informs me said repressors has enough fire powers for the plan to work. Here goes nothing dot scholar. Contact Canonus leading this group of bitches and inform her of the plan. Emperor I hope she goes along with it. Bephesus. This clusterfuck has gotten even worse. Nids and Krons have shown up for some reason. Shit I hope those errant the Krons that Commander Morgenson was talking about. What a bad time to have Blood Raiden painted armor. Try to keep momentum from the charge. It's hell, but then again, that's nothing new. Don't exactly know where to charge to though. Hear from some vox that there was a tank depot. Maybe something is salvageable there. Somehow ended up leading this tag tag force of guardsmen, crusaders, and even a few odd looking sisters. Everyone else is apparently busy dealing with more important problems. And apparently we knew Olay we somewhat knew what we're doing. Fuck now I am nervous. Get to tank depot. Fuck. Fear all slag to hell. Well that's fucking great. Of course life never works with me. Marcus coughs loudly. Oh right. Marcus if you can get even one of these working ill by three whole rounds the next time we get to a bar. Be me, Calibite Drazer, aiming Dark Lance at Monge. One of them throws a grenade. It explodes short, but is bright as hell. Thanks to living in the perpetual nightclub that is Kamorag, it's hardly a problem. Miss anyways because e bullying it is as unreliable as a hemunculus offering free organs. It just punches a hole through some unlucky space marine who was nearby. Looked important too. Had that overly bulky armor that the captains usually wear. Not my target but I'll take it. Quickly run to the back of the radar and try and back it up. Throttle the shit out of it and I go rocketing away. Get it under control and zoom to the witches and succubus for a pickup. Be me, Sergeant Jaren Notorious, Inceptor for an Ultramarine successor chapter. After waving called a Drago to play with his new friends, my men and I began jump packing through the front lines, and towards what we had hoped was some form of actual unit coherency at the nearby tank depot. On the way there, we spot what appear to be Blood Raven scouts. New ones at that. Fucking magpies owe us for sending us through Abaddon the despoilers fucking rectum. Arrive, and find out it's just a bunch of normal guardsmen, who are painted up to be Blood Raven scouts. Fuck. Not sure if it's better, or worse, want to leave them, but took a chapter oath to protect people like them. Besides, they stole Blood Raven gifts, they can't be that bad. Decide to help them out, as we jump pack within their sight like. Be canonous. Heading up Sororitas convoy, turbine engines whining even louder than whatever guardsmen over the Vox. Emulators form up into a flying wedge. Black sepulchre sisters in fancy black hearses, repentious clinging to the roofs. Golden light vacuous on horse shaped motorcycles darting in between. The god emperor rewards nothing if not dedication to aesthetic. Take the corner harder than sister Charlotte. Two hierophants scrambling in pursuit. The orc gargant scraping from wall to wall. Mortaranids clinging to it, trying to claw their way inside. Sail straight between the Chaos Titan's legs. Damn, should have saved the Sister Charlotte crack. A couple of the Sepulchre hearses get crushed under a massive foot. Doesn't matter they were already dead. Turn around and watch the Gargan smash into the Traitor Titan at full speed. It's shorter, hits at about waist level. Titan doubles over off balance, tips over onto the street, button the repressor hatch to avoid getting the oncoming dust cloud in my hair. 
B Marcus. These tanks were pretty screwed up by by kludging what working parts they all had left managed to make 3 working lemon russes between them. Enough to fit all of us conveniently. Don't know how many of us can actually drive it, but well learned. Jury rigging was a dot MacGyver. Suddenly this big ass spacemarine some over and start chewing out fesses for some reason. Halfway through their rant they stop and realize that we aren't actually Blood Raven scouts. Apparently they think we just stole their armor, which puts us in their good books. Yep that's totally a dot nervous. Ask is what our plan and current objective is. We ain't got either of us. Suggest we follow them and act as support. Sounds good enough to me. Better to have actually marines leading the way than Fessus and his hit or miss ideas. Sergeant Jarrah Notorious. Inceptor Marine. Once the these soldiers have gotten their tank up and running, we decide to head east towards the main city. Their tank is sputtering out more smoke than should physically be possible. You took an oath, Jaron. You can't leave them here. Shut up conscience I know. PNG. Eventually, after fighting through a horde of tyrannids, whom were fighting the risk that chaos had to offer, we make it to the end of the city. About time. God damn it. We were supposed to be here an hour ago. B. Jaron Notorious. Sergeants for an Inceptor squad. B leading a group of 11 other Inceptors, as well as a tank full of human soldiers. We manage to make it to the edge of the city, but things are just looking worse, and worse. Apparently, the leader of the soldiers, Marcus, says this shithole was a whole lot worse. Three months ago. Fucking seriously. Robout. The amount of things we've had to kill has toppled out into the early thousands just to get to this spot and there still isn't a fucking friendly unit in sight. Wonder if we're ever go get these regular Jews to safety. That's when I hear it. It's the sound of a chaos titan and it's falling. The Emperor's left note JPEG. Some sisters of battle just fucking toppled the damn thing over. Fucking hell. And we were just sitting here, in our metallic orange armor, wearing our metallic orange helmet with sapphire blue lenses. I'm Bridget. Pretty sure I died again. The Emperor didn't exactly give me an instruction manual or anything. I really hope I'm not counting down my lives like a cat or something. I should remember to ask if there's a sin equivalent of a 1-up like an Ultra Mario world. Some guardsmen wake me up. There's a dead evil marine there. That nice medic from before is there but he's unconscious. He looks hurt. Poor guy. I say a blessing to the guardsman and take off after testing my wings out. Cannabis Connie is gonna be upset. I barely killed more than a hundred orcs. Living saints are supposed to do better. I need to do better. Be me. Good theory in the gut autolux a proud berserker of the sanctified. And these appetizers are fantastic. Chewing up a tiny little orc who was tucked inside a big oil can. Canned food.png. Someone suggests giving orc arms one of its arms as a replacement, but he says it's too small. As we finish clearing out the trenches, big screens throughout the city come to life. Some adorable little priest with an open shirt and no muscle definition is giving a speech. As wedding toasts go, it's not terrible. Really like the message about cooperation that he's pushing. I did notice that a lot of the guys we had been killing didn't seem to have a lot of team spirit. Talent wins battles teamwork wins wars. Motivational poster. Orkarms sees something that gets him really excited though. The little priest has a huge bionic arm. Figure it'll make a fun trophy. So we start heading for the cathedral. Besides, I wouldn't crash a wedding without eating the happy couple. Be Marcus. Be driving this lemon russ. It's pretty sweet. No more foot slugging. We're riding in style now. Drink this thing I not actually so bad after all. Although we do have a few false starts and accidental wall turns. But I can blame that on the state of this thing. Also, apparently the space marines think I am the leader. Ha. Huh. Guess I've just got those leadership qualities. Fessus is pretty salty about it, but it's not like he's technically a real sergeant anyways. Lloyd and Phil arguing about who gets to ride out of the hatch. Phil says he ought to because he has the sword. Lloyd saws the old to because he was the one stabilized and bandaged decorous. Fessus tells them no one gets to ride out the hatch because it's an awful idea. I wonder where that living sin took decorous anyways. I hope he's alright. Also bloody hell is that chaos titan falling gold on the city. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. And after spending some time in the office fulfilling the will of the emperor, everything seems much clearer. Fulfilled his will three times. Chosen one. The Ecclesiarch Armory was near my broadcasting room, and since this was likely our last stand in defense of this planet, opened the stocks, fully equipping my honor guard and all of the underarmed holy warriors we had brought with us. 
Obviously. Save the best stuff for my bride and I as befits our elevated station as the chosen of the emperor. Powercouple.jpg. Don my armor, robes, rosarius, and a collection of specially sanctified purity seals. Decide to leave the flamer to someone else, opting for a more traditional outfit on my wedding day. Bolter on one hip, holy scripture on the other, and a holy eviscerator. Find out that our vehicles have been destroyed, which must mean the emperor wants me on foot. Getting my step S and dodge if. When we reach the chapel, I find out why. There are traitor guardsmen swarming the place, just like the ones that took my arm. But there's something else I haven't seen before. Heretic marines. The spikes make them look so much bigger, and their eyes are locked on me. Be me, bishop's bride. Babe bless me pura.png. I know your body and boy it doesn't lack.jpg. Get that sweat and other fluids off and some neat armor on. Get a energy sword and antique bolt pistol. Try to remember everything I learned about duels and what those perfection fugs at the cult did. Anyway, the fugjan sword goes off metal like warp dust to my father's nose. Get ready with babe and his honor guard, he looks like a high rank confessor, ready for some purging action. See the heretics. So, which one of you bitches wanna lay hands on my man? Be me, Jara Notorious, Sergeant Inceptor. Order my marines, as well as the newly minted tankers of Marcus, to open fire upon the downed heretic titan, as well the nearby guardians, in an effort to assist the sisters of battle. Enough plasma to cook a titan. Hollow. When the fighting is done, my men and I regroup with the sisters of battle, in an effort to meet with their leader. Emperor please let them be more sane than Draco. Meet with their leader, a cannoness with bionic eyes, and a sweet looking scarf. They tell me they are the sisters of the ermine mantle. Turns out that all of them wear some form of scarf or cape. Introduce myself, and tell them we are here to let them our aid. As we're talking, I notice one of the sisters is gazing at me and my men, with this strange, almost hungry look to her eyes. Almost as if she were trying to devour us in some way with her eyes alone. She's a bit bulkier than the others. Mostly muscle from the look of things. Looks like she can handle that heavy bolter she's wielding pretty well. Bet she could handle a hoe, as well. All in all, 9 out of 10. I'd give her higher marks, but her hair is a little too short for my tastes. All in all, she's really damn cute. Hence I make a mental note to ask the canoness her name, when things are a little less crazy. Be decorous. Be alive surprisingly. Feel awful though. Wake up in a bed in a relatively sterile white room. It's rather peaceful actually, or at least it would be if I can't still hear the sounds of distant battle. Actually now that I think about it, it kind of looks like a hospital room. A hospitalier walks in and sees me. Oh good, you are alive. Just wanted to check if you had bit it and we could give the room to someone else. She says it so nonchalantly too. Before I can even ask her anything she starts talking. Yes, you are alive. Yes, you are in an imperial hospital. Yes, it is safe, it has been reclaimed and fortified, and is as safe as you can get. You are brought here by, let's see, here, Oa Livingston. How lucky. And no, she is not still here she went back to continue fighting after dropping you off. That concludes our fact for the previously unconscious. Do you have any other questions? No actually that pretty much answered them all. Then I'll be leaving for now. Dinner will be coming if we're all still alive for supper. Try to ignore the sounds of battle outside and get some rest. And with that she leaves. Ha. Huh. Well, that was concise. She's probably had to do it a lot. Feel kind of disappointed Bridget wasn't there when I woke. I mean, yeah I guess there is a war going on outside but, I don't know. I guess I should just be glad she saved my life. I guess I owe her a game now. Maybe I could take her out to eat after this is all over. I remember her saying she liked Talon food. Maybe there'll still be some places left. Be Norn Queen Becky. My plan to wipe out these catty bitches is not going so well. Other little meat bags had to distract my admittedly stupid children. I'm going to have to get more precise with this. Contact my biggest by Arterton. Assuming direct control. Hive mind. Got to strike at the heart. Aim it at the center of the enemy formation. Be Sister Lydia. We have managed to outdrive the Tyranids. Sisters have gotten their shit together and are firing outside of the firing slits. Still can't shake this really uncomfortable feeling about these Tyranids. Everything is shaking again, so speed up in case more of those bugs burst up from underground. Suddenly the ground is starting to sink everywhere. Rev the repressor up a slope that is suddenly appearing. Hear everyone screaming from the rear. Take a glance at the rear camera I had installed. 
Oh god what is that? Oh god I can't drive fast enough up. Shit it's like there's something stuck on the bottom of this repressor. I don't want to be the one to say it, but maybe we should really toss sister Olga out the back. Ah oh, fuck we're still sliding backwards. Look up and see a glowing figure with wings on her way. Oh great, I'm gonna feel like shit if she has to bail us out again. Tempted to just let us all die. Jara Notorious, Inceptor Sergeant for the Broken Shields. Whilst talking with the Canonus, see that a giant tyrannic bile titan has started coming at us. Specifically, it seems to be coming after the sisters. Order the tankers to draw its eye by firing at rounds at. Hoping that the rounds will tear their way through the heavy chintan. Jump pack my way over on top of one of the repressors as it's going up a hill. Firing my plasma exterminators on supercharge the whole time. Helps the medicine go down. Dot custodes. Watching the beast cry out, as plasma boils away layer after layer of flesh and muscle from its ugly xeno face. My brothers are flying around, doing the same, whilst the tank covers us. Trying to make us look heroic as possible for the sisters. Be canonous. Unbutton hatch and dust from the building collapses rushes into the repressor. Hard to see more than 10 meters. 15 if you happen to have bionic eyes. The tank is wedged into the front of a building. The titan is struggling to get up, like a big metal turtle, but it's still intact. Think it pancaked the gargant completely. Hear a high elephant screaming in the sound of its claws scraping at the ground. A couple of order of the golden light strike fighters flying over the street, fire endless cannons at things further down. Honestly surprised they don't have hailers playing Dixie or something like that. A lemon rust and some golden boy marines rush up the street and give fire support. Not sure we're actually gonna hurt the titan though. And I'm in no mood to try and board the thing. Decide to leave it to the marines. Sergeant said his name was Jared or something. Order the sisters to get the repressor moving. The ground shakes. Probably should have had Olga stay in the tank. The struggling titan starts to sink into the street. The commissar had said something about the undercity structure but I was too busy being a badass to get all of it. The whole width of the street starts rippling in our direction. Oh fuck. It's got to be, like, the biggest fucking ravener I've ever heard of. It's too big to call a trigon. It's a fucking pentagon or something. Gonna book the fuck out of here. Tell Lydia to gun it. The tanks start sliding on the distended street. Why would you need grappling hooks on a repressor? Who gets the last laugh now? Fucking at mech nerds. Fire anchor lines into the buildings and try to pull our way out. Watch the lemon rust skidding along the pavement. See Bridget's glowing us coming in through the smoke. It's about fucking time. Be Jara Notorious. Whilst fighting the huge ass trianid bio titan, the ground begins quaking and shaking. The fucking undercity is collapsing. Why does this shit always happen to me? Notice that the repressor is using some sort of grappling hooks to keep it attached to a nearby building. Heroic intervention. Ems. I quickly activate my jump pack and grab chute and go underneath the back of the repressor. Quickly override safeties on the jump pack and put extra thrust into it. My team and PNG manage to push the repressor along its way onto safer ground, whilst my men hold off Betsy the Bio Titan. This ought to win me some points with that heavy bolter wielding sister. I'm squig. Squiggity squig. Like eat thing. Have things stuck on me, can't get them off. Doesn't matter still want eat. Big green thing has grabbed me. Want to eat things. No little green things. I'm upset. Under moving metal thing. Thing I'm stopped. Delicious things around. Escape from big green man. Want to go find things to eat. See many pink delicious things. Many in armor. See one without pants. Looks like has most meat. Decide to eat her. Why I'm hard to move. Why I'm rolling backwards. Things strapped to me are too heavy. See big mouth in ground. Must be very big squig. Why am I sparkling with lights. Fall in big mouth. I'm kaboom. Be future commissar. Get to watch as a gargant is swallowed into the ground as a repressor and some lemon rust tanks are making a mad dash away. Holy fuck the sisters actually managed to do it. Though the area is still crawling with unspeakable horrors and will probably be crawling with green skin soon knowing them. Decided to order a mass artillery strike on the position. Especially after some golden light objects ferries the sisters away from the general area. What type of ordnance should we use sir? Everything. And I mean everything. Nothing beats watching an entire area go up in massed explosions to the point where even a Cregion would be proud. Be me. The gut. The wedding space is absolutely beautiful. I wish I could have been here to see the ceremony. The reception isn't disappointing either. Well, I'm a little upset that there is no Livingston. 
but I don't like to waste my life pouting when everything is actually pretty great. Too blessed to be stressed. Dwarf. Grinding an orc into the ground with my foot while I pull pieces off a guardsman I'm hanging in the air. I know you're not supposed to play with your food, but I'm taking in the scene. My brothers, big and little alike, are tearing up the dance floor and really hitting it off with the other guests. They've learned so much. Butchering guardsmen, peasants, and orcs through teamwork and straightforward brutality. Killing in large groups, getting that aggression out, is so important for people in my opinion. It's these sorts of fights that really instill a sense of brotherhood in the warband. Blood bonding. Gif. That's when the happy couple walks in along with around 60 bridesmaids and groomsmen. They're all fully equipped with what I assume are gifts from a bunch of very rich and very generous relatives. Which I think is great. The open displays of love and generosity are one of the things that makes weddings so magical. The happy couple. Congratulations on your special day. If you don't mind me saying so, the bride looks absolutely stunning. You're such a cute couple. I feel like I can really see the love you have for each other along with the terror you're feeling. After we kill all your friends, we'll make sure to eat you two alive. That way you have some time to talk to each other about your day, your love, and really share the experience of being ripped apart and devoured. Orc arms is staring at the little priest's arm. So I toss aside my guardsman and give him a pat on the shoulder. Have fun little buddy. I'm still Bridget. I'm flying towards the source giant cloud of smoke. The emperor always points me where to go. Nearly get hit by a couple of Avenger planes going at what's probably like Mach 40. Not again, please. I can fly but at, like, pretty quick pigeon speed, not space fighter speed. Hear battle cannon shots, and cannonous Connie's loud motherly encouragement of the sisters. I'd know that anywhere. They brought down an evil titan without me. Maybe the cannoners was right. I should have been transferred to one of the smaller orders. A really big tyrannid is clawing its way out of the ground under the titan. I mean, a really big tyrannid. And I've seen some big tyrannids. The sister's tank is holding itself up with some cables. There's a lemon rust tank and some of those cars the black dress sisters ride around in that aren't as lucky. I shoot a magic emperor laser from my sword. It burns through the section of the street ramping up. The whole section falls back down flat with a very loud noise. I see some of the tanks bounce, which they usually aren't supposed to. Really hope nobody bit their tongue. I keep going for the big tyrannid. I killed one of the little Aravnas once, when I was a sister, back on Gilda's Hope. Climbed on and stuck my chain's word behind its head where the back and head armor meet. It saves sister Catalin. Pretty sure it's gotta work the same way even if they're really really big, right? I dive in with my sword ready. Pretend it's a lance and I'm riding a pretty flying horse even though it's just me. I see the tyrannid shift and the rubble and its huge eye look at me. And then basically everything everywhere explodes. Oh, that was a good one. I, I really enjoyed the bits with the marines, especially whenever they were, like, flying down and they hit into the titan and then it turns out, oh, wait, no, it's a mouth. And then they end up getting shit out and all that. That was fucking great, so it was. And also, same with St. Drago, the uh, chopped master of the uh, Grey Knights. It's weird. I don't know exactly when in the timeline this is, seeing as we met a Primaric's marine in this one. Drago's been lost in the warp for, like, you know, a while now, and it's interesting to see, like, you know, the fan fiction of what he's actually turned into, because, like, you, you can't spend a few hundred years in the warp and not, like, you know, have a few screws loose, you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, as always, let us know what your favourite bit was down below, make sure to check out the Discord if you haven't already, and, like, you know, like, this is part 11, like, you know, if somehow you've managed to sit down and listen and watch through... This is part of, like, 11 parts of this series, and you haven't subscribed somehow. Mate, you want to change that, and, like, you know, the only way to make sure that you stay up to speed is definitely click on that wee notification bell, so you can know, you know exactly when and when they're coming out, you know? I think it's a good idea, so definitely check it out if you get the chance. But no, as always, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This... This is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this?